All right, YouTube. I just had something on my mind. I got a longer video that I'm about to um, edit and I'm about to post it. It's gonna be called Make Cardio Fun and a back and bicep workout. So after you watch this video, I don't know how long after you watch this video, it's gonna be up, all right? So stay tuned. It's gonna be me and my son. We went to Sky Zone, Trampoline Park, and um, I guess I'm gonna give, this is a preview that, of that video, right? Not really, because I'm just telling you. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, Y'all read the comments. I mean, y'all read the that. I'm not editing anything out. I'm not editing this video. This is a one-shot video. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, click the link below to say 15% on Javi Coffee. Let's get into it. Y'all read the title. All right. I cannot talk today. All right. So y'all read the title. I'm going to get it together. Y'all read the title. How to get more subs how to get more viewers, how to get more duration, how to get monetized on YouTube, and how to get sponsored, all right? How to get monetized on YouTube and how to get sponsored. How to get sponsored, in my opinion, I'm sponsored, and I'm talking to a few other companies, and I'm trying to weed out. I want two sponsorships. I don't want too many because I don't want not want my videos to be a big commercial, for one. And also, I do not want people... Cause I'm going to have products in the future. When my channel grow and I make a name for myself, I want to have supplements and I want to have clothing. I don't want just t-shirts. I want clothing, apparel, gym apparel that you can use in the gym. I want supplements that's going to work. No lies, no gimmicks, no bullshit. Just like my information that I'm trying to give you now and just like my fitness information that I always give you how to get six-pack abs. I'm not editing this. I usually would do like this and then you'll see my six-pack ab picture and da, da, da. Not doing that. All right, let's get into it. Enough rambling. The main thing you need a supplement company or any company that's going to sponsor you, in my opinion, I'm going to let them come to me. All right? Click the link to save 15% on Javi Coffee. I'm going to let them come to me. And I'm going to look them up. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to weed them out. I'm not going to let anybody sell me anything to get a, um, a promotional code. No. They're trying to sell me something. Or they're not going to just pay me in, in their product. They're not going to give me fr like a free supplements or something. Like if I was sponsored by a pre-workout company, unless they was one of the ones that I already take their stuff and they was giving it to me absolutely free on a timely manner where I could have it a month for, month per month, then maybe I would think about it. But, yo, I'm in it for the money. So at the end of the day, if I ain't get no money, no. Nah. And I don't want no discount. So I'm going to weed out and I'm going to look into it, see if they legit. But I want them to come to me. How do you get them to come to you? Good question. You got to make a name for yourself, at least somewhat. They got to they gotta find your, they got to find you marketable. They got to find you marketable, all right? So your information, let's say you do fitness. I do fitness. I'm just naming what I do. My fitness information is legit. Toot my horn, being biased, whatever, call it what you want to call it people like my fitness advice it's, it's different it's straight up there's no bs there's no no lies no gimmicks there's no overnight Ooh, you can get abs in two weeks and there's none of that over here so be real be true authentic to yourself also the main part that i cut this camera on before i ramble and say something else this is the number one thing that's going to get you monetized you're going to get your four thousand hours of watch time you're going to get i don't know how long it took me a long time but it's gonna. T it's hard to get them four thousand hours. You gotta get your thousand subscribers. That's the easy part. All right. But how do you do that? You have to get people to. Um, you gotta. You gotta not play with people's emotions, but you gotta get them emotional. All right. What do I mean by that, rapping? All right. You got people who gonna. You're always gonna have people who wanna not like you. You're gonna have people who like you right what you need to do is find a way to get the people who don't like you to hate you you ain't got haters you ain't doing it right right nah that ain't what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about but that ain't what i'm talking about you got to get the people who like you to love you so instead of being here you need to be here with it you have to have extreme emotions now, I'm not saying do nothing crazy, don't break the law, 
don't 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 break the rules and the terms of of, of whatever you're trying to do. You, you got to remember, you don't mess up your brand. Number one, you you are trying to build a brand. You're selling a product. Even though people are watching your channel for free, you're selling. Treat it like you're selling a product. Repping Time Fitness is a product. Straight up. My information is a product. And I stand on it. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. It's a product. And I stand on it. And if I'm wrong about something and somebody call me out on it, guess what I'm going to do? If I actually believe I'm wrong, I'm going to admit it. Integrity. All right? You got to have your fan base to where they can trust you. So don't come on there lying and doing all that crap. I can easily do that. You know, to go viral, I can easily tell you that you can get abs in, in two weeks or three weeks or a month. Beginners are easy to fool. I mean, just, just straight up and down, just keep, keeping it real. And when you keep it real, there's going to be people, be people who disagree with you, who don't like you already, and they, you say something that they don't like, guess what they're going to do? They're going to hate you. And then the people that love you, like you already, they're going to, oh my gosh, this guy is, oh my gosh. Not, not mocking. I'm, dang, I want to edit that. But I'm not editing in this video. They're going to love you because they're actually getting results. They're actually going to get results if they actually take the advice. If it's actually good advice, all right? So I know mine is good. I'm just saying, don't take everybody's advice just think it's good just because you like them. All right? You got to, okay, you're going to get emotional. You got love, hate, like, dislike, whatever. Just because of somebody is your family member, your friend, or whoever, I see this all the time. I'm, I'm going to get it back to where I'm saying, but I'm going to get into fitness a little bit. This is a fitness channel, and I have to. I have to. I could be making a video about God dang. This was beef jerky. I could be, ugh, what the fuck is on the beef? I mean, what the heck? Ah, man, I ain't mean to cuss. Something's on it, all right? <laughs> But I could be making a video about beef jerky, just the taste of it, just reviewing it. But then I'm gonna break it to the fitness side of it. Yeah, it got protein and the car, the calories. And I can't help it. That's just me. I'm a fitness guy. So find your niche. A niche is more like okay, I do fitness, but fitness is not a niche. That's a topic. That's 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 what I do. A niche is what do I do different than other fitness people. I play a lot of scratch off tickets. Y'all look at the link below. Um, I'm gonna link below my um, my shopping video so y'all can see what I eat and how I get six pack abs and and breaking down the nutrients and all that. Um, then I'm gonna link below my scratch off video so y'all can see what I mean by my niche. What makes me different than other fitness people? Other fitness people have their niches or whatever. Um, let them do them. You got to find your lane. My niche is something that I do on a regular basis. And I'm not, and I'm not, when you watch those uh, lottery videos, they're good, by the way, because this is actually something I actually do. So I don't have to act, all right? When you watch those videos, remind, remember that I'm not telling you to play the lottery. Remember that you can go broke. Remember that they have to um, make more, any business is in business to make money, all right? Every business, including Rapid Time Fitness, is in business to make money, all right? The lottery included, so be mindful, all right? I just watch it for entertainment. I made a lot of money, I lost a lot of money. I show my wins, ups, downs, whatever. So you have to have a niche. What makes you different than other people? Also, in my opinion, this is all, this is all everything in this video is opinion, all right? I'm not saying you can't make it in a different way. In my opinion, don't do something just because it gets a lot of views. Now, gimmicks and things like that, if I see something like when Will Smith and the Chris Rock thing, when that happened, I made like 20 videos because I knew they was going to get more views than my other videos, right? But I am not a celebrity um, news influencer. I'm not. I'm not a celebrity news guy. So if I was to start doing just celebrity news, people would see through it. People would see clearly straight through it. Right, I could throw, I could sprinkle a little bit of it. I could sprinkle a little bit of other things that is not my topic or my niche. 
but people are gonna see straight through it. Now, celebrity news videos get a lot of video views because um, they're celebrities, the names, the tags, the titles, the thumbnails. You, you're talking about something that's already famous, something that's already popping. So if you wanna go the quick, quick route and get more views, then do that's a good route to go. But if you don't really know your stuff, like me back in the days, if I would have started a celebrity news channel, I would have talked about just rap. I would say two, 2006 on back, 2007 on back, I could have made a channel about just rap because I knew everything about rappers. I was reading double XL magazines. I was watching everything. I was looking at who was the richest rapper and this and that and the third. And I stopped doing that because I want to, you know what I'm saying, focus on myself. Well, I'm focused on how many millions of dollars Birdman, Jay-Z, Kanye West, and, and Dr. Dre, and all those guys, 50 Cent, and Eminem. Who else was in that category back then? I don't remember. I, I don't know who in there now. Drake? I, I don't know. I don't know who the richest rapper is. Why would I focus on their pockets when I could focus on my own? Which brings me to my next topic. Focus on yourself. Just like I be talking about in the gym. A lot of people be thinking I be crying when I be talking about I don't like talking in the gym. I don't like conversations. I don't like this and that and the third. I am focusing. My eyes are on the prize. If I take my eyes off of the prize, then I'm not getting it. So if monetization and getting sponsored and all that is not your prize. Now me, when it comes to getting sponsored, I let it come to me. So that's not the prize. That's just added bonus. All right? Click the link below to save 15% of jockey. Ah. Coffee. Dang it, if you already drink coffee, it's free to it's free to go to the website. Click the link. It's free to go to the website. Look around, window shop, eye shop, eye candy, blah, blah, blah. And if you see something you like, save 15% by using my code. It's in the link below. But besides all that, all right? If you don't want to click it, then don't. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's whatever. I'm going to get paid for the video. Ads, <laughs> all right? Revenue. You're not really getting paid that much. If you're not going viral, all right, bombardment. That's another thing. Bombardment. If you're not going viral, and this is one of the things I say you might want to do and you might not want to do because it will water down your channel a little bit. You might, you know, people might not like your stuff too much. They might start to hate it. Hopefully, they start to hate it. If they go from liking it to not liking it, hopefully, they start to hate it because people will watch you more if they hate you. I'm not saying try to get people to hate you. It's up to you. That's all, that's all up to you. Everything's, everything's just a suggestion, all right? So, people's emotions is the number one thing. Me, honesty, integrity, I'm breaking it down, keeping it real. Um, also, yo, respond to your comments, all right? Build a, I'm, I'm keeping it real. Build a relationship with your um, fans. I don't really like to call them fans. I like to call them friends. Become friends with the people who are friendly to you. Straight up. Become friends with the people who are really... And be genuine. Genuine as possible. You know what I'm saying? If they ask you a question, if they ask you a tip, if you ask me how do I do this or how do I do that, especially if it's fitness related, I'm going to try to... I even made videos because of people requested it. If you request something, and this is what makes me, you gotta you gotta find out what makes because there's people bigger than you. If you're not monetized yet, that everybody's pretty much bigger than you. I'm not big, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying though. So there's people way bigger than me. So my thing is try to make my stuff better than theirs. Lights, camera, action, and flashiness, editing, and all that. I don't know how to do none of that. But you got to fight with what you can fight with. You While you're learning how to do that, learn how to do the things that you don't know how to do, but do the things that you already know. The things that you already have, use it to the fullest. Go hard. So my information, I go hard, right? So with that being said, the difference, what makes me better to, to a beginner especially, what makes me better than a bigger YouTuber? the fact that I'm a smaller YouTuber. The advantage of being a smaller YouTuber, you gotta use this to your advantage. If you're a smaller YouTuber right now, please take heed to this tip. This tip right here will take you far, I promise. Dang, what was the tip? I'm trying to go too hard. <laughs> See that too, you gotta, you gotta, 
this is one shot. This is no editing. All right. The fact. That's it. That's I got it. I got see, 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 see. Hey, stay focused. Eyes on the prize. You will get it right back. All right. Ah, I almost forgot it. I got it. I got it. All right. The fact that I'm a smaller YouTuber, my comment section. Look at how many people have commented. If you're still watching this video, you thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video, like the video. Please listen to this tip. Get a pen and pad, paper down. Write down this tip right here. And if you have to rewatch to write down the other tips that I just said, do that. The fact that you are a smaller YouTuber, you might not have 10 or 20 comments in your section. You can easily respond to them. Where a big YouTuber will have thousands of comments in their section, comment section. They cannot respond to all of them. You know, whether they're being a, or whether they're, they're being funny, whether they're being mean, whether they're not. Most likely, I don't know, probably they might, they might be genuinely good people, but they cannot respond to everybody. They cannot. But I can. You can. You can respond to everybody in your section, and people will appreciate it, all right? They're reaching out to you by even leaving a comment. Now, when I first started YouTube, there was a lot of people subbing to each other and, and watching each other just so you'll watch me. There's genuine people, there's not genuine people, all right? Now, some comments might look like they're not genuine, and they might be, but a lot of them you can kind of tell. But you can still, there's a room for error and everything. So you might be wrong, you might be right, all right? So learn who to rock with and learn who to not rock with. You know, I don't really recommend a sub for sub thing anyways. I mean, I've done it and it helped me. I mean, that's one of those things that I say might or might not be good. Um, I'm in the middle on it. A lot of people are totally against it. A lot of people are totally with it. But to get your first thousand subs, to be able to go live on your phone, to, to, to get your first thousand subs locked in, you know, Get your first thousand and maybe a few more just to make sure they locked in because you're going to gain and lose subs all the time. You know, whatever. If they watch me, they watch me. If they don't, they don't. I'm going to put the information out. So this video is actually pretty good. And it's off the top of the head. And this is a topic that I don't really talk about much. Probably three times in four years of being on YouTube. I don't know. Four, four years? Three, three and a half years? Three years? Three to four years. Somewhere in between. I've been on YouTube. All right. I do fitness. If I could do this video like this, if you thought this video was good, and at least watch my fitness videos, all right? And for those who already have, thanks, much love to y'all. Um, like I say, I rock with anybody who really rock with me. If, you rock, if you're watching this video this long, you really rock with me. Or you're tr trying to really learn some stuff. If this is your first time watching, I teach a lot of different stuff, mostly fitness. I keep it... That's another thing. Stick to your topics, all right? There's a lot of times, like I said, I made gimmicky videos. I made videos about things. When I got monetized, these guys, they was beefing. I think it was a fake beef to get them more subs, more views, more money, whatever. I mean, whatever floats their boat. I don't judge, but I caught it the way I saw it. I, 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 I did my response to it, all right? So I seen they was getting a lot of views. You might call this real, you might call it fake, whatever. I think it's real, especially the fact that I'm saying it, all right? Any of these tips that I give, you can take them, leave them, whatever. Take the ones you like, leave the ones you don't like. Don't throw it all away because you didn't like one tip. So, <clears throat> I, got a, I got a playlist. I'm not even going to link it. Y'all can go to my playlist and find things that you need, you know, if you're on a weight loss journey or weight gain journey. You want to learn a little more about lifting, learn a little bit more about nutrition or anything fitness related, I have playlists, literally, for everything. I have videos, literally, for everything. But I want you to go to my playlist. Whether you click on it or not, I just want you to see it. I literally have a, a playlist called Clout Chasing. When Takashi 69 got out of jail, I knew that was going to go viral. I ain't had no views at that time. I had made one live. I erased it, I think. 
I had 2,000, was it 2,000 people? Give or take, I think it was 2,000 people I had in my live for a whole hour. Now, those people coming and leaving, those people said whatever they had to say, I didn't care. I had just got to the point where I could go live, not too much before that, and then, <laughs> man, I would be lucky to have 20 people in my live at the time. Still, to this day, if I go live right now, I might get 50 people, especially the fact that I don't go live often. Whatever you do, if you've got things that you do well, do it often. All right, that's another tip. But I was doing a video about Takashi 69 saying my opinions. I didn't even really care about the whole situation. Hey, call it fake, call it real, whatever. I'm putting it out that I'm being real right now. This is when he first got out. I looked down at my lie. I was about to get off because I said everything I had to say. I didn't know how many people that was in there. I seen comments going up and down the screen. I looked at the number of how many people was in there and I stayed live. I was like, man, I'm going to get monetized off this live. Yo, I didn't get monetized at the time, but I did get a lot of hours for that live, a lot. But those hours, they go up and down. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get 4,000 hours in a year. So that's kind of hard. So you have to go hard on what you're good at. If this video helped you out any kind of way, like it, subscribe to the channel, comment, like, subscribe, share, watch the other video because I'm editing it right after I get off of here. And I don't know when I'm going to put it out, probably later on tonight, whatever. It's going to be make cardio fun and how to get bigger biceps. Look, look at this. Bam. Bam. I ain't even ate today. I ain't even carved up, no sodium, no nothing. I worked out, so I got a little pump, but it's not even that. I'd be a little bit bigger than that if I had food in me, all right? Yo, and I'm natural. So, how to get bigger biceps back. It's going to be back in biceps workout, plus it's going to slid in the middle. It's going to be a two-title video. Sometimes you want to do those, too. I forget who gave me that advice. Somebody a long time ago. I mean, play with your videos. Play with your titles thumbnails find out what works for you all right you know this is a journey it's a learning journey all right so that video is coming out make cardio fun I'm, I'm trying to give y'all that advice real quick before i forget and i get off i'm about to get off so like subscribe share share the video make cardio fun why do we make cardio fun first i'm gonna tell you how i make cardio fun all right you might not, me personally, I don't want to be on a cardio machine for hours. I do not do the treadmill. In the gym, the only cardio machine I do is the stair stepper. I like the stair stepper. Everything else, the bike, the, the whatever, the hand cardio thing, you're burning calories. I just don't like it, all right? So when you watch my videos and I say something that I don't do, that doesn't mean it isn't good. It's just not for me. That's why there are so many workouts. There's so many ways of doing things. I just give you options. And I tell you options that I do, and I tell you some options that I don't do. So all of those things, they work. Everything burns calories. Some things burn more calories than others. But what do I like doing? Long walks. Yes, walking doesn't burn as many calories as running. But guess what? I don't really like running unless it's like when I'm playing basketball. So I do walking, I play basketball, and a few other things. Watch my videos, and you'll find out. Go look at my physique update. If you if you haven't watched my physique update, or if you have, watch it again. Go to my physique update, and or my before and afters, and tell me that I don't know what I'm doing. Because watch. Oh, no, no, I'm going to warn you. Before I go, I'm going to warn you. When you get really good at anything, whether it's fitness or anything else, everybody, you got your likes, your love, your your likes, your love, your like, dislikes, and your hate. <coughs> ah, I'm not sick. I'm just building up a lot of pressure. Just worked out, trying to think, trying to talk off the top of my head. Did a whole 20-something minute video without writing anything down. That's how good I am. All right, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. Pride aside, let's ride. But no, listen. What did I, what was I talking about? 
Dang it. Oh. Cardio fun. That's what it was. Make cardio fun. Why? So you can stick to it. You're not going to do things forever that you do not like doing. If you dread doing it, you might have motivation to make yourself do it. That's why everybody quit their New Year's resolution for weight loss a month or two after they started. They always quit. For one, they're being seasonal. You can start your res you can start a good habit or stop a bad habit any day today, right now. It ain't nothing different about whatever day you watch this video. There's nothing different about today than it is about New Year's. What's special about New Year's is gonna make you lose more weight. Don't worry, I'll wait. Tell me. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. So start now. Start, start. But do things you like doing. If you don't like do, lifting weights, do calisthenics. If you don't like calisthenics, do Pilates. I, I don't know what you want to do. I don't, I don't know what floats your boat, eh? So comment, like, subscribe, share. Holler back at your boy. Rambling, gambling, scrambling, rambling. Peace. Watch my videos, man. Click the link.